Welcome Capricorns, your very special heart spread read. This week i um, doing a little bit different, focusing kind of internally on really uh, and instead of your other person like I normally read, the one that's on your heart, the one that's in your mind, um, this is um, uh, looking at your own internal um, relationship to love and romance, let's put it that way, I'm trying to here. And I think we're getting somewhere. It's uh, looking anyway, the heart spread is kind of, I see it as an astrology, your first house, your seventh house, which is where we naturally look for what we want from the others. Using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot, if you get a darn. Having some chai tea, and that's ridiculously good. Mm hmm. Wow. So, pre shuffled. And, um,. What I'm looking for here is, uh, Jung called it uh, um, looking, going all the way back, the anima animist, for me anyway, kind of how I thought of it. And this kind of idealized version of the feminine or masculine that we might have in our minds. Um, one we might want to live up to, the other is something we project and look for, and uh, I'm thinking uh, really our romantic love relationship, maybe other relationships as well. And often maybe this is what gets projected into uh, reality. So partly what I'm looking at too, Capricorns is uh, manifestation, what's going on with the whole process. So keep that in mind as we go along. Hmm, but here you are showing up uh, in the reading with the Knight of Pentacles, and this could be Capricorn energy. So I'm kind of looking this, uh, normally this is, when I see this, I see you showing up very authentically in the relationship that you're thinking about uh, with this person. But here, this is in relationship to your own anima, animus projection, kind of a relationship kind of with your own higher self. Um, so here, um, with this Knight of Pentacles, it would be strongly in alignment with this uh, process. Like, you're probably someone who's manifesting. Um, I see you looking away from the reading, though, so maybe... Um, this is still a great reading for you. This is not really a romantic read, you know, about exactly like going out and find a romance. Um, because this is kind of like the Venus energy, our alignment with the Venus energy, which is everything to do with the values even. Um, but you're solid. Uh, you're someone that's been doing the work, but it's like you're right at the ver this very moment. Maybe you're not engaged uh, with anyone right now. Um... Knight of Swords. So I think now, normally I would see this as your other person. Where are they at? Where's their mind and head at around love and relationships, you know? Um, you know what you're doing. You're experienced. Um, you're grounded. Um, you're kind of like turning your back on something right at the moment. It, it, I'm tempted to say on an air sign, it's, but you know, I want this to be a reading about you. You know, these energies pull in these, how we learn and grow us through relationships. So, it's my whole point really drilling down looking at this um, in that way you know we can get a handle on what we're, we are pulling in uh, like Jung said anything unconscious gets projected and we call it fate mm -hmm. so maybe in the past um, you've been quick for a Capricorn hey you know Sagittarius I was married Capricorn 25 years a lot of Capricorns have a lot of Sagittarius in the chart. If you've got the personal planets in you, or all of them, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, for one. It wouldn't be unusual to have at least one, if not two of those, for a cap now. Particularly early degree cap. So, uh, maybe this is you learning over time. In terms of this relationship, it is to um, take your time, think it through. This is sort of like not, in terms of a manifestation, this is not really thinking it through. It's, it's almost like that, you know, the deal with the devil. You need to really think about all the consequences here uh, and not just make a snap, uh, you know, wish. Um, and maybe this is something you're kind of learning here because you've got two knights. I feel like it's somehow balancing in this reading, this being that other part of yourself. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Now, normally I read this as how you're reacting towards your person. And I would normally read this as you not feeling you're good enough for the other person somehow. It's how they're 
I don't want to say it's how they make you feel, it's how you're feeling about them, <laughs> uh, how you're reacting to them. Uh, and it is, this is such a beautiful uh, picture, though, of the mother and the baby, Capricorn. And this, your energy pinnacles. <sighs> There's an element to you backing down and taking your time and turning your back, okay, on love, basically. Um, that is from uh, um, an ultimately childhood stuff. This is your reading, I'm thinking. Um, some kind of actual lack, maybe poverty. Um, you may have had parents that just focused, had to focus so much or chose to focus so much on just keeping uh, things together um, that they really weren't able to focus on you. Because um, this is definitely coming across in this reading, it's got to be referring to to the lack mentality um, and just not feeling good enough, you know. Um, wow. And what a response, because I do kind of, now this would normally be how do I see your person reacting to you. This is not a person. This is this aspect of yourself, your own inner relationship with love and romance here. And how is that reacting with you in terms of this pinnacles? And really, this is really advice from spirit. It's advice from our own our higher self. What could it be? Anything but. And this, as the six of wands, is wonderful. It's literally trying to say you, you're, you are valuable. Um, you know, we know this. You know, all sentient beings deserve peace and prosperity and everything. Love. We deserve, we deserve to be loved and, and to love, you know. Um, and I do see this, as this is going to be your higher self, this other part of yourself. I see, you know, you're watching this reading. I see a, um, a little bit of a prodding here. Now, this is energetically. So maybe, if this is your reading, Capricorn, you're feeling a little bit like you've been kind of like, yeah, I'm not into guys, not into girls anymore. I'm just kind of like doing my own thing. And you, maybe you are making that clear. You're throwing the memes up on Facebook or on uh, social media or something. So um, this is kind of a little bit of a, a nudge energetically. So this is you maybe feel like, you know, that barista was kind of hot and kind of like, oh, did I just think that? Maybe I am alive in there. That kind of thing. There's an emphasis here, too, upon like really thinking things through. Um, it's swords, it's, it's uh, the words, uh, communication, thoughts in your own mind. Um, and manifestation has got to be kind of a really kind of slow down a little bit and really think through what you really want. You know, what is it, what is it you're really going for here because this is really going for it really pouring it on um, let me see here now chariot I do count uh, the overall energy here at the bottom of the deck um, you might be with the chariot moving into some kind of alignment you got to see this too well I see this I see the chariot as kind of the um, major kana version of the six of wands or vice versa but this is like people cheering for you and whatever this is like your own soul family really your spirits your guides your angels they're cheering for you now because this is elevated energy it's also cancer but here i'd say it comes around uh, totally around cancer and self-care would come in um, to mind what you think you might be doing that might be part of what the knight of pentacles like the knight of pentacles would be clear you're not like doing nothing, right? I mean, Nine of Pentacles is getting it done. In fact, you could say Nine of Pentacles is going to get there if anybody's going to get there. Maybe just right now, Nine of Pentacles is refueling and uh, <laughs> retooling. Mm -hmm. But you're feeling something here coming. And you may be feeling this spiritually too. Now, this is kind of like feeling like I, I really need to do this. I really need to respond. And this could be just an energy too of wanting to get out there. You know, 
uh, into the world. Wow, the Knight of Cups. And now another Knight, that Knight of Cups here is looking right into the reading. And this is your advice from Spirit, normally about uh, how to deal best with this other person that's on your mind and your heart. Uh, but here, this is uh, relating to how to deal best uh, with this inner uh, process you have of the uh, projection of your anima, animus in your relationship with love and romance. And again, drop into your feelings. Get your feelings involved in it. Now look, you come in, you're very stern, you're very, you know, you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're like, the Nine of Pentacles is like the Terminator. You know, you're the good look stop in the Nine of Pentacles. But you're not into it, then this is advice from spirits, like get into it. Tell it, that's what it is, not my advice. Advice from spirit, get into it. Put your heart in it, put some feelings into it. Put some skin in the game. Because knights don't play, you got three knights here. Something's going on, something's changing. I can feel it now, it's like this, Capricorn like this uh, uh, excited sort of energy and nervous sort of energy. This is what squares are. Probably something squares going on in your chart. I mean, God knows the sky's on fire. Um, and we're really this is a this is still the uh, uh, full moon reading. Okay, so um, and we've got the chariot. It always brings in that spiritual element. Like you must feel like something's happening in your life. Wow, and this is exactly that energy. This is being called up to a higher purpose. It's like realizing, look, love in relationships is how we grow. It's a part that's like a large part of our experience here. Our soul's experience here is in relationships with other people. Not just lovers, of course, but, you know, lovers is intense. I mean, that, that is a big part of it. Um, and this is really giving thought to what do you really want out of terms of projections your of your and if you're if you're manifesting um, not just you know out of a you know the composite chart speaks to this when you look at it you know, the composite relationship chart it's kind of what what's it about what's the relationship about I mean do you want a partner do you want romance do you want a family do you want you know I'd get the feeling you're wanting stability here Capricorn so number one But it's, I think you're being told that you're only going to get it by really uh, being, this is being emotionally vulnerable, let's just be clear. But what's, you know, what's a knight? Brave, goes on, does its mission. In emotions, though, this knight's not out slaying dragons. This knight's opening his heart. That's his mission. That's really hard. But he's strong. He's a knight. He's going to do it. And maybe that's part of what this judgment is here. It's a cross from judgment, guys. And this is just is all internal energy here. It's not anything to do with anybody else. Despite the fact that you might have drawn in a air sign. Keep that for another day. Now this is the advice from spirit. Normally for the relationship as a whole. Here it's much more subtle. This is still the crux of the heart spread. And it's coming between this Nine of Cups and Judgment. And the Sun card. The best card in the deck people say. No reason to um, disagree with that, but the fact that it's in the crux of the heart spread, um, whatever this is, this judgment here, when you give your heart to this, this is something in yourself. This is a, uh, like you've always known that you were meant to fill in the blank. Uh, you always knew that you had to do um, and fill in the blank. And this is a real blessing. And it's also, I think it's uh, pay attention to illuminations that you may be getting right now. I mean, right in the middle of this eclipse, this powerful energy, it's called like going back to Lionsgate, I think. Right now, that Lionsgate from August energy is really, it hasn't already come for you. The, the manifestation now it's now it's coming the astral train's going to arrive here or is arriving and this may be really shining light like by opening up yourself emotionally you may actually shine a lot of light in by kind of like accepting what it is that you feel drawn to spiritually really um that's going to illuminate and open up things for you um it's a world of difference from the five of pentacles 
And then, hmm, looking for your ships to come in. This is the outcome of the heart spread and being um, over the sun. I think it lends this a lot of power. It's also, um, you come in with the Knight of Pentacles facing the other way from the reading. I told you, you're kind of closed down to relationships right now. But you're approaching a time when you're going to look. And you're going to do it from a position of power. You're going to do it looking good, feeling good, a position of strength, physically, emotionally, spiritually even. Um, and you see this person, you know, they're up high. And they're just kind of looking. That might be you. You know, you're not getting into muckety-muck right now down in the streets. But, you know, this is opening up and taking a look around um, at the world and uh, relationships in general um, and opening yourself to it. Probably from some kind of new perspective, more emotional perspective, more willing to be vulnerable. I think that's kind of the key. I have to remember to put that, like, that's the tag for this. It, by being more uh, willing to be vulnerable, just being more vulnerable, uh, you're going to open up the door here, <laughs> maybe to everything, you know, and also you're aligning yourself even with your soul's purpose here with this. So thank you, Capricorns. Give me a like, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you can think of anywhere to share this on social media, it might be appropriate. I appreciate the help and do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.